Hi there, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Emily and welcome to my living room. Today we're going to be doing some yoga. It's going to be a vinyasa flow. We're going to keep it nice and short, under 30 minutes, so if you have anywhere to be, this is the perfect one for you. All right, let's get started. We're going to get started in tabletop position immediately. So on all fours, just go ahead and stack your shoulders directly over your wrists and your hips directly over your knees. And we're going to start moving in what we call cat and cow. So on an inhale, let's drop the belly. Open up the heart space, gaze forward. Exhale, one vertebra at a time, round your spine, tuck your chin and tailbone in. Inhale, try to lead the movement from the tailbone. Open up the heart space, gaze forward. Exhale to round the spine. Now let's go for a couple more rounds, breathing in, opening up the heart space. And breathing out, opening up the back body, hollowing the lower belly. And continue here at your own movement of breath. If you want, you can close your eyes to feel more connected to your own body, to your own movement. And you want to try to make the movement last the whole length of your breath. And so just using these first moments of the practice to become present, to become aware of how you're feeling, of the rhythm of your breath, of if there's any pain or any tension in your body. And in my hope for you here is that with each cycle of breath, you feel slightly more connected to yourself, slightly more grounded, more present. Okay, let's take one more exhale as we round the spine. And then inhale, let's make our way to a neutral spine. Breathing in, let's bring the shoulders past the wrists. Exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze them into your rib cage. Drop your chest and chin down to the mat. Take one breath here, squeeze the navel in. And then inhale, sliding through into a baby cobra. Exhale, lower the chest down to the mat. Let's bring the fingertips on either side of the mat. Tent your fingers and point your elbows up towards the ceiling. Lifting from your upper back, inhale, lift the chest. And exhale to lower. Let's go for two more. Breathe in and lift. I should really feel those muscles along the spine working and exhale to lower. One more, inhale. And exhale to lower. Let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes underneath your heels, squeeze the muscles in your thighs and then inhale, press up, high plank. Let's hold here. It's a nice high plank. The hips are high, the shoulders are rounding slightly up. And on your next exhale, let's drop both knees down on the mat. You can walk your hands back towards your knees, spread your fingers wide. We're just gonna rock back and forth, stretching out the wrists. And make sure you're active through all 10 fingertips and the weight is not only going into the wrist, so you're also bringing weight into the tips of your fingers. And, and then pausing here, let's turn the fingers so that they point towards the knees. This may not be accessible to all of you, but just try your best. Otherwise, you can always have the fingers pointing to the outer edges of the mat. If you have your fingers pointing towards your knees, you can bring your weight back towards your heels. Feeling that deep stretch in the backs of your wrists. Right. Now let's slowly bring the hands back to neutral, keeping your toes tucked. Let's sit on the heels. Hands can come to the heart space or arms can reach up to the sky. Lean back, lift your knees off the mat, and then bring your heels down to the floor as low as you can. Hold here. 
And so the bum is off the floor, the core is super engaged. And then as you breathe in, stand up tall, high mountain at the back of your mat. Inhale here. Exhale, let's interlace the hands at the lower back. Open up the heart space, gaze up. Exhale with a flat spine, fold forward. You can bend the knees here as much as you need to to keep that stomach connected to your thighs. And so here we're getting a nice deep stretch in the hamstrings, in the shoulders, the chest. And one more breath here. And then as we exhale, release your hands down to the floor. Take a halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, let's walk the hands all the way up to the top of the mat, high plank. Breathe in, breathe out, lower halfway down and hold. And then as we inhale, upward facing dog, maybe taking a breath or two here, maybe even moving the hips side to side, just making sure the glutes are super engaged and the thighs as well to protect the lower back. Right, and then slowly let's make our way back to downward facing dog. So the first down dog of the practice, you can always take as much time as you need to move around to pedal out the feet, to bend and straighten the legs, maybe shaking out the head, whatever you need to do here. All right. Let's take two more breaths here, maybe coming into stillness. I have a dog, so there's a lot of <laughs> dog hair on my mat. <laughs> All right, on our next inhale, let's lift the right leg up high, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, hold, and then step your right foot between your hands. Drop your left knee down. You can keep your toes tucked if you want for Anjanasana. Let's reach the arms above the head. So here, trying to bring your hips forward and down towards the right heel, keeping both glutes engaged. Both feet are pressing down into the mat. Right, next exhale, vertical twist to the right. Right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward. And on your next inhale, let's come back to Anjanasana. And then exhale, interlace your hands at your lower back. Open up the heart space. Now, if your left toes are not already tucked, tuck them underneath your left heel. And then as you breathe out, let's straighten the right leg. And so here you're trying to reach your chest over the right toes. Pull your hips back, hollow the lower belly. And let's breathe out, release your fingertips down on the mat. Point your toes, inhale, press into your fingertips, lift your right foot off the floor and hold. And if you can't hold it, you can pulse for three, two, one, release, standing splits, left leg kicks up into the air. Hold here, squeeze the left glutes. And you should already be feeling some heat building up in the body. Try to keep your breath steady and deep. On your next exhale, let's flex the left toes and cross your left foot behind your right heel. So we're in a forward fold, but the right foot is crossed in front of the left. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward. And one more breath here, feeling that really deep stretch in both legs. As you breathe in with a flat spine, let's come all the way up to standing. The right hand holds on to the left wrist. Inhale to find length. Exhale to side bend to the right. And next inhale, let's come back up through center, release the bind. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Send your left leg up high, standing splits. Exhale, step back, both feet to high plank. Inhale here, exhale, your vinyasa. 
You can lower halfway or all the way down to the mat, just depending on how your body feels right now. And let's meet in downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And second down dog, so maybe here you want to find stillness, try to find more height in the hips, more length in the spine and backs of the legs. On your next inhale, the left leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, pause, and then step your left foot between your hands. Drop your right knee down to the mat. Inhale, both arms reach up high. Anjanasana, three breaths. At each inhale, growing slightly taller. Next exhale, vertical twist. Squeeze the core. Try to expand the space between the collarbones as much as you can. Next inhale, let's come back to Anjanasana. Both arms reach up over the head. Exhale, interlace opposite pinky on top and behind your lower back. Breathe in, open up the chest. Breathe out, straighten out the left leg. And if this bind is too much for you, if you feel like you're really losing your balance a lot, you can always bring your fingertips down to the floor. And on your next exhale, let's release the fingertips down if they aren't already. Point your left toes and then compress thigh to stomach. Let's lift the left leg and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release standing splits, kick off your right leg. So right leg in the air, try to fold over your left leg, stomach to thigh. Your hands can help you by pressing down into the mat. And on your next exhale, let's cross the right foot behind the left. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold forward. And one more breath here. And on your next inhale with a flat back, rise up high mountain. Left hand now holds the right wrist. Breathe in, find length, tuck the tailbone, and breathe out, side bend to the left. So really trying to lengthen the right side body here. And next inhale, come up through center. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, standing splits, right leg rises. Exhale, step back, high plank, and your vinyasa. Good. Now on your next inhale, let's come high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump, top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. High mountain, rise up with a flat back, reach the arms above your head. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float back, option to crow pose. So bending the elbows, bringing the knees over the elbows or high up into the shoulders, maybe lifting the feet off the mat, maybe jumping back to chaturanga. And we all meet in down dog. On your next inhale, the right leg rises. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Pause here. Maybe lift your left arm up to the sky. Maybe kick your right leg out and hold. And on your next exhale, bend the right knee. Left hand comes down, come into wild thing. Flip your dog over. So the right leg is bent, the left leg is straight. And next exhale, right hand comes down to the mat. Send your right leg back and up. Three-legged dog. Exhale, the right foot steps between your hands. Drop your left heel. For warrior one, rise up. 
Whew, I'm sweating. I don't know why. It's not even that hot here. I live in Luxembourg, so I don't even know if you know where that is, but it doesn't really get that hot. And two more breaths here. On your next exhale, let's again interlace the hands at the lower back, open up the heart space, and we're coming into humble warrior. So maybe your right foot wants to be a little bit more off to the right than you normally would in warrior one. We're gonna bring the right shoulder to the inside of the right knee, and then round the spine, tuck the chin into your chest. Maybe look back to your left foot, maybe to your belly button. And on your next inhale, come all the way back up to warrior one, but this time straighten your right leg. Maybe you need to step your left foot a little bit closer to come into pyramid pose. So exhale with a flat back, fold forward. Fingertips can come to blocks or to the floor. And on your next inhale, take a halfway lift, reach the crown of the head forward. Exhale, reach your arms back and up into airplane wings. Good. And then we're going to swoop the arms down and up and bend the right knee as we step forward, left knee into the chest. All right, so left knee is in the chest, arms reach up high. As you breathe out, cross your left knee over your right knee for eagle pose. I'm just going to face the front of the mat again. So eagle pose, left knee over the right knee. And if you want to add the arms, the right elbow crosses over the left elbow and try to clap your hands. I right, take one more breath here. On your next inhale, rise up, left knee into the chest. Half moon on your exhale. So the right fingertips find the floor. Left arm reaches up. Left leg kicks back and up and hold. And on your next exhale, breathe out. Bend the right knee. Step into warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Stretching out the right side. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Frame your right foot. Step back, high plank, and your vinyasa. And let's take that on the other side. So inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, pause. Lift your right arm up, maybe. Maybe kick your left leg out and hold. And then bend your left knee, right hand comes back down on the mat. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, flip your dog into a wild thing. Right leg is straight, left leg is bent. And on your next exhale, looking down, place your left hand on the mat. Inhale, left leg reaches up high. Exhale, left foot steps between the hands, right heel grounds down, warrior one. And one more breath here. Exhale to interlace the opposite pinky on top. Interlace the hands at your lower back. Breathe in, open up the chest. Breathe out, humble warrior. Try to keep your shoulders and hips squared to the front of the mat. And then as you breathe in, release the bind. Come all the way up, straighten your left leg. For pyramid pose, exhale to fold forward. On your next inhale, 
halfway lift. Stay strong in your legs, especially the left one. And then reach your arms back and up. So squeeze your left thigh here to protect your left knee. And then we're going to swoop the arms down and step the right foot forward, right knee into the chest. Exhale for eagle pose, right knee crosses over the left, and the left elbow crosses over the right elbow. Sink down, squeeze your thighs together as much as you can, and then bring your elbows away from you and up. One more breath here, keep smiling. And then from here, let's bring the right knee into the chest, arms reach up high. Exhale, half moon, left fingertips find the floor. Right hip opens, right shoulder opens. Reach your right arm up in the air, kick your right leg back. All right, and then flowing through warrior two, exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior, stretch out the left side body. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the mat, step back, high plank. Last, vinyasa, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Oh, short but fiery. <laughs> Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. All right, let's come high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or jump, top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come into chair pose. And then lift high up onto your toes and hold for five. Squeeze the navel in, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way down, hips to heels. Drop your heels down on the mat, and then we're going to sit down. Whew. All right, let's straighten out the legs. We're going to cross the right leg over the left, and then eagle arms here, left elbow over the right, Right? Inhale to lift the elbows away from you, to lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold forward. So you can bring your elbows down on your legs. Maybe you can hold onto the feet. And everyone, we can all relax our forehead into our arms. And breathe here into your upper back. On your next inhale, let's come back up, release the bind, reach the arms above the head, cross your left foot over the right, and then the right elbow over the left. Inhale here, exhale to fold. Next inhale, let's come back up. Now undo the bind of your feet, reach your arms above your head, and then exhale, fold forward over, over both legs. So here you would ideally want your stomach to touch your legs before your chest and definitely before your head, so try not to round your spine. Send your hips back and chest forward. Now let's take one more breath here. Next inhale, slowly come up to a seat. Hands come by the hips, fingers point towards the feet. Let's press into the hands, lift the hips, coming into reverse plank. Try to touch your toes to the floor and hold. And if this is too much, you can always bend your knees and come into reverse tabletop instead.
And on your next exhale, let's drop the hips down, bend the knees, reach your arms forward, and one vertebra at a time, let's come all the way down to the mat. So we're coming into constructive rest, feet are mat distance apart, knees knock in together. You can close your eyes here and just rest your hands on your stomach and chest. And just allowing the body weight to land on the floor, allowing your body to calm down, the muscles to relax and soften. We're going to end off by taking a gentle twist, bringing both knees into the chest. And then just allowing both knees to fall over to the right, left arm extends out to the left. And you can look over your left shoulder or straight up to the ceiling. And breathing into the belly, feeling the effects of the twist along the spine and in your tummy. And let's come back through center. Inhale. And then exhale, both knees fall over to the left. Look over your right shoulder. Right arm can extend out to the right. And then coming back through center, hugging the knees into your chest, maybe lifting your forehead up into your knees, taking a deep breath in. Hold your breath and squeeze as hard as you can every single muscle in your body. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then breathe out, release into your Shavasana. Make sure you're comfortable. Once you're there, take a deep, deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And allowing yourself to enjoy these moments post-practice where the mind feels calm, the body feels heavy. And enjoying these moments where there's nothing else to do right now but simply being present with yourself. And stay in your Shavasana for as long as you need or want. I hope that you enjoyed this practice with me, short but fiery. And I hope that you have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you so much again for joining me today. Namaste.